none of these things would happen. Obviously, existence doesn't have a preference. It doesn't care. It doesn't care is because it's expressing itself. The infinite being, the absolute, wants to express itself and experience all aspects that do exist in life and doesn't limit its experience to one part or one thing. Okay, I'm unmuting you. you. Is okay. this making any sense for you? Yeah, I understand what you say. Um, I understand what you say. It's going to take a little bit of time to, for, for, for it to settle. And if you want freedom, if you want to become completely free, you're going to find yourself at a position that you have to, at one point or the other, now, five years, 10 years from now, or maybe next life or whatever. But for now, we're going to stick to this life because this is all we know. So we keep it simple. At one point, you're going to have to go beyond what is good and what is bad and what is right and what is wrong. In order to merge in, because this is the world of duality, whatever is here, the opposite exists. Third dimension is the dimension of duality. Anything you encounter, the opposite of it is equally existing. Well, who created that? Who created the opposite? How did it come to creation? Did God have a bad burrito or something, rotten food, and he just had indigestion? So through the indigestion created Hitler or through that indigestion created Saddam Hussein, or life wanted to create them, wanted them to be the way they are, wanted them to express that aspect of God in murderous fashion that we experience. Why do we have a beautiful beach and then Suddenly, a tsunami comes and kills 30,000 people and 5,000 of them are kids. Why would something like that happen? Why would God do something like this? If you want to look at it that way, then you will see that you'll come to this conclusion that there is no justice. This must be a twisted, sick God creator that is sick because it enjoys a 13 year old girl have an alcoholic mother that the mother is putting cigarette uh, butts on the child's hand and burning the hand and is beating the kid abusing the kid the father's alcoholic raped his own daughter why would these kind of things happen what kind of god is that If we want to look at it from the point of view of morality, of right and wrong, we never get the answers because there looks like more shitty, screwed up things happening in the world in comparison to the good things happening. And that will drive you crazy. Or maybe there is something beyond that. Maybe I can rise above that and look at the whole thing from another angle. Is it possible? Is there a possibility that there is something beyond that? Is it a possibility there is a wisdom behind it? I'm not saying any of you should agree with what I'm saying. I'm just asking a question. Is it possible there is something beyond what I see and what I experience? Could it be? And if the answer is yes, 
then it's worth investigating it because maybe I can find a deeper meaning to life by investigating this question. Or does it stop at this place? Because if it stops at this place, it's a very cruel, screwed up, fucked up world. And it's not worth living it. But through my direct personal experience, I can only speak of that. I can't speak for anyone else. There is something beyond. You rise above it. And in order to rise above it is you have to go beyond this thinking mind, which is conditioned. It's brainwashed based on our conditioning, cultural conditioning, parental conditioning, spiritual conditioning, especially spiritual conditioning, which for the spiritual seeker is the most dangerous thing that happens to us. Us, the ones who come on spiritual path, we get deeply conditioned and in that conditioning we become very prejudiced like racism that's how we become and we're really adamant that things must be this way because this is what i've been told or i believe and that keeps you into this loop because you go round and round and round and you never get anywhere except you suffer so that's where gotama buddha was talking about i am in the world, but I'm not of the world. I am in the world, but I'm not of the world. So what happens is like the Lotus Sutra, the flower Lotus Sutra. Where does this precious exotic flower grow? Where does it come from? Do you know that? It comes from the swamps. It comes from a very filthy, smelly swamp. The most precious, beautiful flower that exists on the planet, it grows outside in the swamps and it go gets above. So there is the swamp, the river, swamp, pond, and this one goes this much above it and it opens up so beautifully. So here's the filthy third dimensional world that has all these different aspects. And then the awakened being that wakes up, it rises above that. Means you transcend and you have an ascension to the fifth dimensional consciousness. You're ascending your consciousness to go beyond good and bad. So it's like a triangle from good and bad. You come to the very top of the, the eye, the observer, the third eye, the watcher. You have arrived to that place because you're no longer bound and hunted by good and bad. You have gone beyond. And that's how you become free.